guys and welcome back in a new video how are you doing i'm doing great in today's video i'm going to review a fragrance which is super super underrated i don't think too many people talk about it i don't think it gets the hype that it deserves because this fragrance that i'm going to talk about is a really good fragrance compliment magnet smells good performs really nice really cheap 15 dollars i think that's a really cheap price and people don't talk about it the, some people talk about some fragrances that I think that they don't deserve the attention and the hype but I'm here to let you know about like my honest some some fragrances like that I really like like I don't care if this fragrance is popular I just want to tell you my opinion about a fragrance that I think really good and the fragrance that I'm going to talk about is this one right here the King's Crown from the Art Zafaran. I think it is the same company as Latafa. I might be wrong, but I really don't um, care about that if it's a Art Zafaran or a Latafa fragrance because they all are cheap and they all are accessible and they all are Middle Eastern fragrances. This one right here, a Middle Eastern fragrance that doesn't smell like a Middle Eastern Arab fragrance at all. This right here screams like an Italian designer fragrance. Some people might like if this fragrance right here is a clone of the Dolce Gabbana Decay, the Eau de Toilette version to be exact and I tried the Eau de Parfum from the Dolce Gabbana K. it is really similar I didn't try the Eau de Toilette but this one I think it is a, like a mix of both or something because I think it is super similar to the one that I had and I tried this one I find it better because it is cheaper Quality is not as good as the Dolce Gabbana to be honest, but it's not bad quality. This is a better, like a better buy for you than the Dolce Gabbana. That one is $80 plus. I don't think you should spend your money on that fragrance. It is, I think it is, it's not boring, but for the price, I think it's overrated to be honest. This is $15. Wow, guys, so, so similar. And I will put in the title the best cheap and fresh and clean fragrance of all time because this one is actually the best cheap fresh and clean fragrance of all time that lasts a super long time for what it is. We all know that fresh fragrances, clean fragrances have a really short period of time and they go because they they don't put enough oils in it only other toilets they don't last but this one right here is another parfum that it does last a really long time it gave me some compliments the the performance is a beast mode for this fragrance be careful don't spray don't over spray i think that four or five sprays are enough six sprays maximum people going to detect it on you they will think you are wearing an expensive fragrance like what it happened with me i always wear fragrances and I go and I go out with some of my friends there there is only this one friend that never compliment a fragrance on me he always tell me that I'm spending money on fragrances that don't deserve it I wore this fragrance right here which is really cheap and he thought that it was expensive that that's what I think guys I think that fragrances prices don't matter because they all have a scent to it there, like in the nature guys this there is not a law of like let's say that a fragrance that that is expensive is better than a fragrance that is cheap because they all have oils and chemical ingredients synthetic ingredients so they all made from the same ingredients here yeah, some of them the expensive stuff have better quality but it doesn't mean that it have to smell good i tried some expensive fragrances that smells terrible and i tried some cheap fragrances that smell super mess appealing one thing about this fragrance, it is super mass appealing, but it lacks, it lacks like a, like a, not a character, it does have a character because this one, even if it's cheap, uh, like if it's fresh and clean, it does have a pimental note or like a pepper note. It gives it a weird sweetness with a weird spiciness, sweet spiciness. So it gives it like a character. It's not just a fresh and clean yeah it is a fresh and clean fragrance but with a touch which is amazing for a fragrance that is 15 dollars and they have to make twists on it to make it 
smell different this smells different this smells good the best cheap and fresh and clean fragrance of all time in my opinion as i told you 15 dollars last 10 hours smells so good i don't think that i need something else for my fragrance that is 15 dollars and the notes that you are going to pick are that pimento note with some let me give you another spray also great sprayer with some citruses and some figs uh, probably a little bit of a fix creaminess wow guys this is so good please go and pick this one up i'm not hyping it up it is actually super good i'm telling you and it will get you compliments and you can wear this fragrance with something that is classy you can wear it with something that is like a sportswear or like uh, casual wear you can wear it with almost everything because it has a mix of everything a really nice sweet fresh clean little bit spicy um creamy fragrance at the same time this is unique guys unique and good i like it especially the what makes me love this fragrance more is the fact that it lasts long and i'm able to smell it all the the day long when i wear a fragrance that is a hundred dollar fragrance and i can't smell it on myself people can't people can't smell it also this is 15 dollars i can smell it people smell it it's just a nice fragrance i'm going to wear a lot of this fragrance right here also guys i'm going to do an unboxing please like this video if you want to see more and like it so we get recommended to other people also i'm going to do an unboxing soon of our really hyped up fragrances which is the jean paul gaultier le bolo parfum new clone from alhambra called glacier um bold or something and the glacier ultra which is the new clone 2023 clone from Alhambra Latafa, which is like uh, maybe an upgrade over the Rams Latafa silver, because I don't know why they would do a new clone of Ultramal if there is Rams Latafa silver. I think that this Alhambra Glacier is going to be better because uh, since they put it and they released it into the market, they will they think that it smells better, and that's what I'm going to tell you when I first try it and i would do a later video after that of me comparing both like the rams latafa with the new clone of ultramal from the same house and let you know the differences and everything and thank you so much guys for watching and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet like this video and and before i finish this video i wanted to talk about like the presentation of this fragrance the bottle is really really heavy the glass is thick the cap is plastic and cheap but it doesn't matter the sprayer is really really good quality i don't know it just looks sleek and thick and heavy and nice it smells nice so i'm going also to do like best fresh and clean fragrances from latafa or middle eastern fragrances after all and i will let you know and i will let you know my favorite um fresh and clean fragrances like versatile fragrances that this is super versatile you can wear it in the winter you can wear it in the summer in the spring in the fall it's it will make you smell uh, nice smell classy good quality good scent profile just a nice fragrance so guys this was the video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video